Fatigue is one of the most common symptoms in multiple sclerosis. Uh, the longer a person with multiple sclerosis has the disease, the more likely does the individual report fatigue. Even in the earliest phases of the disease, probably somewhere between a third and about 40% of patients do report fatigue. Fatigue is also a symptom that very often is viewed by the patients as one or the, of the more disabling symptoms. And particularly, obviously, it's to the outside world an invisible symptom. The fact that fatigue is severe and often uh, limiting in terms of employment is also reflected by the fact that it's a leading cause of disability in patients with MS. So that's a difficult question. There is no one single cause and there is obviously uh, perhaps a way to subdivide uh, fatigue in multiple sclerosis. I would look at it as primary fatigue caused by multiple sclerosis, which means it is the MS disease process itself that causes the fatigue. And here very often it's disconnection or injury to areas of the brain that uh, generate wakefulness. But the primary fatigue may also uh, include the fact that sometimes, or, or that in multiple sclerosis, reconnections occur so that uh, the areas that are not injured or the neurons that are not injured have to take on more work. It's kind of almost like when a company has downsizing and whoever is left in the company has to do more work. So you have then a fatiguing of these other elements. So this connection and the shift of uh, the functions to other areas, other areas that sometimes also can be affected, uh, would be part, as uh, so we can understand, as primary fatigue. Then there are the aspects that I perhaps would look at as secondary fatigue or caused by what MS does to the central nervous system or the body. Uh, patients with multiple sclerosis can have sleep disturbances, either sleep disturbance because uh, falling asleep, staying asleep is disturbed, but also because uh, they have to get up regularly to go to the bathroom during the night. Obviously, each time sleep is disturbed in such a fashion, the restfulness of the sleep is not given. On the other hand, also patients with multiple sclerosis may have difficulty with walking, difficulty with uh, doing uh, exercise or physical, the physical part of life. And they are tiring out much more quickly. So there is this tiring out or the, the fact that it takes much more energy to do menial kind of these, these everyday things that we don't even talk about. Patients with multiple sclerosis often report that even for things that we kind of take for granted in life, that they have to plan then when you go to the store, because once you went to the store, you, take, you need to take a rest. When you do pay, for example, bills or, or do things that need concentration, you do them in the morning or after rest, because the rest of the day you are too tired to concentrate and you are ineffective or perhaps also make mistakes when you do these things at different places. So again, thinking of fatigue, I think of fatigue that is caused by consequences of MS and fatigue that is caused by the MS itself. Obviously, uh, the patient never reports to us, this part of my fatigue is X, this part of my fatigue is because I don't sleep. So often when we then start to address fatigue in an individual, we try to identify kind of a threat that we can pull on and start to address one reason for the fatigue. 
be it depression, be it, um, for example, uh, the bladder uh, issues that I mentioned, being increasing exercise tolerance, and then obviously also keeping EMS uh, with treatment under appropriate control to the degrees that this is possible.